Hey guys, what's going on? Um, so today's video, we're going to talk about tuning for E85 in the Holly Terminator system. Uh, this kind of applies to the really all the Holly uh, EFI systems. Uh, and before I dig into this, I want to say something. You know, I'm always real straight with you guys about uh, you know what I what I've learned and and showing these techniques and you know just doing the best I can to try to educate people. Uh, hopefully, because you'll you know not repeat mistakes that I've made in the past and others and uh, you know, you, you create a, a car that runs the way you want it to. Well, uh, I have achieved a first officially. Uh, I have blown a head gasket on somebody's car uh, due to my own negligence. <laughs> and it's, it's not because I didn't know what I was doing. It's because I overlooked a uh, simple setting. And uh, so what I'm going to do is make a video to teach you guys how to not overlook that setting and not do this so that you don't blow head gaskets because uh, that's not fun. So, uh, first things first, you know, with, with E85 first pump gas, you know, the, the big difference here is that they don't burn the same way and you need a lot more, uh, fuel flow when you're dealing with the 85 versus pump gas. And so this, this chart here shows you on the left that depending on what percentage ethanol is in your car, uh, between zero and hundred percent ethanol, it shows you what the, the stoic air to fuel ratio would be, which basically means a Lambda of one. And that would be kind of your, your perfect burn for idle and cruise and that kind of stuff, you know, whatever. So that's usually uh, around 14.6, 14.7 on pump gas. But on E85, you see the numbers substantially lower. It's 9.9. .9. And, you know, depending on the specific amount of ethanol you have, you know, pump gas E85 usually isn't actually E85. Sometimes it is, but not always. Uh, so it could be somewhere in the middle. But the point here is that you need way more fuel with the 85 to get to the same lambda value of one. Um, so <clears throat> here's what I'm going to show you. In the Holly system, you've got your target air to fuel ratio table, and you can put in whatever numbers you want. And you, you know, this is just their their out of the box simple tune for a small block Ford. But basically, what you see is a 13.8 idle, a 14.7 cruise, and a 12.5, uh, you know, wide open throttle target. And this is all based on this being on pump gas. So what happens if you're going to run E85 or E50 or something in between? <clears throat> well, you've got some options. Now, up here in the uh, the EFI uh, engine parameters, you notice there's a drop down here for what type of fuel you're running. And uh, in the Terminator, you're going to have gasoline in E85 and some of their other stuff. You might see methanol and, you know, um, but, but gasoline in E85 is, is enough to, to get the point across. And so changing this setting here doesn't really affect your tune per se. Um, all it's doing is saying that whatever fuel type I pick here, either gasoline or E85, I should pick air to fuel ratios here that are appropriate for that type of fuel. Because the, the actual O2 sensor is reading lambda, not air to fuel ratio. And what you see in your data logs and in your closed loop fueling and all that uh, is based on it converting that over to air to fuel ratio. So here's where this tune went really wrong. This, this car I'm talking about was an E85 car, but I'm, you know, because you can't actually target Lambda numbers here and you have to do it based on, on an air to fuel ratio, I'm in the habit of always using a pump gas air to fuel ratio, uh, because it's just one thing for me to remember. I'm more used to it. That's what I learned to tune on. Um, so I just always do that. And that's fine, whether it be pump gas or E85, as long as, in the engine parameters, this is also set to gasoline. And this is where this went wrong. So this is a tune that I started helping somebody that had already kind of got their stuff going through the first phases. And because they were on E85, they switched this to the E85 drop down. When I started tuning the car, my target air to fuel ratios were still pump gas air to fuel ratio. So effectively what we ended up doing is we ran the car really, really lean under boost, popped a head gasket. Uh, and thankfully that's, you know, all we're dealing with, but, um, but it's not good. You know, that's an E85. The whole reason it didn't pop even sooner than it did is just because E85 generally resists detonation better. So, you know, it's, it's more forgiving to, to that tune not being quite dialed in up top, but, yeah, man, we uh, we popped a head gasket, and that's why. And I just, like I said, when, when I build a tune from scratch, even if it's E85, I personally just leave this always at gasoline because it's easier for me to remember. It's an honest mistake. 
and I'm sorry, and you know, it happens. Uh, and he's been really, really nice about it. But um, I just want you guys to not repeat this mistake. So it doesn't matter if you use gasoline or E85. I'm going to repeat that again. Whatever fuel you put in the car is up to you. It doesn't matter as long as whatever fuel you select here and the target air to fuel ratios you specify are in alignment with each other. So what I'm going to do here is I just want to show you something. I've got a second version of this loaded up side by side. So this is what, you know, things would look like in their uh, naturally aspirated world with pump gasoline. Now to convert this to pure E85, how would we do it? Well, this, this is what the math would look like. So if you look back at this chart that I had pulled up, if E85 needs a la uh, air to fuel ratio of 9.9 .9 and pure gas is 14.7, then here's, here's the math you need to do. 9.9 .9 divided by 14.7 and you get to 67 and if you multiply that by 100 it's basically 67.3 percent so you're saying that on E85 your air to fuel ratios need to be well essentially uh, minus 100 32 percent less than what they are under pump gas so what we can do here is we can just take all the existing air to fuel ratios and if we multiply them by you know 67 percent or 0.67 that'll give us what we need so jumping back over here I should be able to just take the entire table right click do an offset and then we can specify it you know however we want to do it so in this case uh, again if we're targeting uh, you know if this is 67 percent we need to be 32.6% less, so that's what we'll specify. If I can find the right tab. So percent minus 32.65. And all of our air to fuel ratios now are much lower, and that's what you see. So again, where this had 14.7, which was that perfect, you know, pump gas stoic, that now just became 9.9 .9 with, with the 85 which is exactly what this chart shows. So again, the, the point here is that if, if you're gonna set your engine parameters to gasoline, target you know, these types of air to fuel ratios. If you're gonna set that configuration to E85, then you must set your target air to fuel ratios accordingly. And but again, it doesn't matter. I could put pump gas and sit, do this all based on E85 numbers, and it would still work out just fine. I could be on E85 and use all pump gas numbers. It's just fine as long as the setting, the fuel type, matches the air to fuel ratios you're putting on there. So guys, do not repeat this mistake. Um, make sure your stuff matches. If you have any questions at all, hit me up. But this is critical because again, E85 is much more tolerant, uh, at least up top to resisting detonation and seeming like there's really not a problem but there's a huge problem uh, and it's eventually going to lead to engine failure or a blown head gasket so keep your stuff in check guys don't do what i did be smart good luck godspeed